Okay, hi everybody. So hopefully I'm going to help with a couple of steps that have to do with painting a portrait like this one. The issues that come up are things like this sheer tool and that sheer tool fabric wraps around the face as well as over the hair. So what I want to be thinking about first before I paint that sheer tool is I want to paint the flesh tone of the portrait of the skin as well as the hair underneath it. So anything that this overlaps, I want to establish that and paint that first. Then I'm going to use some semi-opaque watercolor paint, which is actually gouache in white. So many of our sets have tube of white. So we're going to cheat a little bit and use some white paint with some water to to create that effect. So first I want to be painting, so first I have my flesh tone painted. It's a little bit washed out. I've noticed on my camera, I don't know, maybe if I tilt it this way, you can, it's a little warmer in person. But what I've done is painted that flesh tone and cut that alien look happening now just because I've, you know, left the whites of the eyes unpa unpainted and then I'm going to I would paint those in later. So I want to paint the skin tone first. So next thing I want to I want to make sure to have also painted first before I do that white tool is to paint paint the dark of the hair underneath it. So I've got my raw umber and I'm mixing it with a little bit of ultramarine blue. This gives me a nice dark tone. It's fairly neutral but you know, and it's basically a light black. Of course, you can use black. It's a little bit quicker to do, but I like to, to kind of mix my own and to, to have those two working together. And then I can switch back and forth if I want it to lean cool, if I want it to be warmer, I switch toward the brown, and so I like to having those two. So if I look at where the, uh, the hair frames the face, I'm going to be a little bit more controlled with this outer edge and then as it approaches the head I want it to be transparent enough that I can see some of that warm skin tone underneath it. So kind of painting the just the basic shape of the hair as it frames the head. The harder edge over here. But then as it, I'm gonna pick up just that little bit of an edge there. There we go. But then as it moves towards the towards the head itself, I'm gonna want to soften that a little bit, right? So I'm gonna blot my brush, I'm gonna rinse it a little bit. Oh, picked up some brown somewhere. Rinse my brush a little bit and blot it. And then just with a tiny bit of that paint, I want it to be a little more watery. I'm just gonna kind of move my brush sideways, kind of slant it on its edge a little bit, just to create a little more transition there. And then I'm also kind of moving the point of my brush back and forth a little bit to pull just some really weak strands of black into the scalp or into the forehead. So I'm getting some really light lines in here just because I've used a lot of water in my black, but I'm pulling pulling that in towards the, you know, pulling that in towards the forehead and on top of the forehead. All right, so Let's keep moving around the edge this way. Kind of using, using a fairly small brush here. I don't want to get too crazy with the line work, but using a little bit smaller one allows me to do some of that. As the, the hair meets the hat, it's 
a little more of a hard edge shape. And we deposit a little more of this black here. And you'll notice that my skin tone is painted more, you know, beyond what I need it in terms of the shape. So I do have that opportunity to pull it in and to overlap it. And I'm ignoring the shape of the white tool for now. I'm going to paint right through it because I know I'm going to be painting the white gouache on top. while this is again while this is still wet I'm gonna go with a blotted brush up against the edge of my hairline and just bleed that out just a little bit and then I'm gonna do that same thing I'm gonna pull some of my line work up into the head a little kind of contouring the shape of the head and there are a few kind of the, those baby hairs that happen here and I can always get I can always get darker as I if I need to but at least here, I've got a little bit of a transition that happens between the forehead. We've got slightly more hairs overlapping one another. And then the really solid mass of black hair towards the, you know, towards the outer edge. If you have some darker places where you really want it to be a softer transition, just work quickly, take a, a damp brush, just a tiny bit of water in it. And you can lift those a little bit and push those up out into the shape of the hair. And then vice versa, you can pull down some of those as well. You don't want to overwork it and create kind of, you know, puddles, but is this is possible to do um, let's keep going this time I'm going to switch to my bigger brush because I want to be able to cover maybe some larger areas as I move downward so continue that same idea I've got a little bit of a hard edge there because I took too long to kind of resolve my shape but Let's pick up where we left off. So I'm putting in a little more color, a little more paint in here. And also I know that this side of the face is going to be framed by that transparent tool, but I still want to get the color of the hair as dark as it needs to be. And I feel like the, the hair kind of frames the neck also comes all the way down here perhaps. So some of this I'm guessing at because again, it's covered, right? It's got that white tool on top of it. But I think this is about, about where the hairline would meet the face. And I'm going to darken some, some chunks of the hair as well. So kind of with a second layer of this blue and black and brown, sorry. And here on the edge of the head, winding it just a little bit perhaps, but I'm gonna feather some of it out. 
give some of the, the ends of the hair a little bit less of a heavy line, a heavy edge. And maybe pull some of the darkness out in a few places also. And let's jump back over to the left side over here, right? So got, got some variety, at least light and dark, just a little bit over on the right, but let's go back over to the left, pick up where we left off. So the hair kind of tucks back behind the cheek a little bit. This is where the white tool would kind of pull the hair in a little bit but I'm gonna come back out with it, again, ignoring the, the tool overlapping the hair for now, because I'm gonna, I'll address that when we come back to the white. All right, and then the, the dark of the hair would come up against the face, something like this. And then something that happens over here too is where the head rounds over, you know, away from the light or the hair. Oops, I just put my my hand in the middle of that black wash over there. Okay, to finish my thought, um, where where the hair kind of wraps around the roundness of the head, I'm gonna darken that just a little bit and then pull some of those lines over suggesting a little bit of the texture of the hair. And I'm gonna switch back to my smaller brush. So I'm not, hopefully I'm not, you know, trying to paint in every individual strand of hair but I can suggest a little bit of the texture. All right, back with my bigger brush, I'm gonna come back to this part of the hair and just kind of pull out, soften some of this here, shape some of the ends perhaps. I want to erase the dark, but I'm going to give maybe some, some variety there with the value. Okay, this is all going to be black down here too. I'm going to fix where I put my finger, my hand on there. This is all going to be dark down here, so we can kind of leave that, leave that as it is for now. What we also want to do is to, to let this dry, so how the, to the transparent sheer fabric that we put on top of everything that we've just painted. Obviously it needs to have a dry surface. So let's let that dry just a little bit. So we'll let that dry and then we'll paint the uh, sheer fabric on top of it. So hopefully that helps a little bit in terms of the hair itself and then here in just a couple of minutes, we'll paint that, that tool, see how that goes.